Hey, hey, good morning. John Edelson coming to you live from my garage in Laguna Niguel, California. It's Wednesday, February 20th. Today I want to talk about the 10 laws of karma. You see this headline, karma's a bitch. Well, if karma's really a bitch to you, you're probably doing life wrong. So karma shouldn't be that way. Karma is kind of reactive to how you react. Um, so let's run through these um, quick 10 items that I, that not me, this is actually from the Power of Positivity. That's where the list came from. Great um, Facebook page I, I follow. The first one's called the Great Law, Cause and Effect. And that's the basic one of all of them. You get what you give. If you give love and positivity and happiness, you get back love and positivity and happiness. That's rule number one, the Great Law. Rule number two of karma it's creation. It's not random. You create your destiny. You create your positive events. You make them happen. This isn't just random. You've got to create things positive in your life. And that's how it happens every single day. Number three is humility. You have to accept the good and the bad. Don't just focus on the bad. Let the bad go. Move on from the past. You know, accept both things, positive and negative karma. That's number three, humility. Number four is growth. You have to grow. We only control ourselves, not our environment around us. So we have to be the best to control ourselves and be the best possible version of us. We can't control anyone else. We can't control our environment. We can just control us and so do the very best you can with that. That was growth. Number five is responsibility. Be accountable to your actions. If everything around you is great, chances are you're great. If everything around you is shit, chances are you're not making good choices. Good morning, Sammy Henson, Rex Lake. How are you guys today? So that's responsibility. Be super accountable for your actions. You know, whatever whatever you put out, it kind of it flows back. Now, connection. This is a good one too. Even insignificant things are connected to the bigger picture. So be very aware of that. For example, I was general manager of a restaurant in Denver, and I was in the parking lot, and this guy comes around the corner, almost hits me, and flips me off. I'm like, what the hell? We're doing a big hiring thing, so I get inside, and I'm like, man, that guy almost hit me out there. That's crazy. Sure enough, my second interview, there's that guy. So remember, karma has connection. Even the smallest significant things can turn out to be a bigger picture. So be aware, okay? Have a job well done. So focus is number seven. Single focus. Stop multitasking. Like I said, do the job right. Do one job and do it very well. Don't try to do 10 things half ass because focus will bring you peace. And that's another part of karma. Just focus. Single focus. Stop multitasking. Number eight is be here and now. Be present. Don't dwell on the past. Don't look at things that have happened before that are negative. Be present in the moment and be alive and available and open and emotionally ready. Okay. Number nine is change. Don't keep making the same mistakes. Learn and grow. Like history it keeps happening over and over again. Don't let it. Change the bad habits. Learn and grow. Number 10 is patience and reward. All good things come with a price. Sometimes the price is time. Do the thing, have the power. You got to have patience. You got to do the right tasks every day, the right things, make the good choices, open doors for people. Do that every single day and it starts to accumulate and the next thing you know, all the great things happen. Do the thing, have the power. So how's your karma? It's a pretty big list. So look it over, think about it. Let me know how you're going to improve your karma today. If you have any friends that might need this, share it with them. Like it, comment, post it, whatever you want to do. Have an awesome Wednesday. Remember, you are loved because I love you. Have a great day.